All right, we're back. We got our next guest. It is uh, definitely an honor and uh, a pleasure to have this young man come on here today. He's an undefeated welterweight prospect. Uh, also, most recently, less than two weeks ago, he was crowned prize fighter light middleweight champion to find the odds and uh, running through that tournament to be claimed and claim the championship prize fighter. And without further ado, uh, we want to welcome the ATG Radio tonight, the natural Larry Ekundeo. I said that right. Did I say that right? Yes. Yes, you did. You did. Oh, Ekundeo. Ekundeo. Okay. I can, I, my last name is Steya. You see my name written. People call it Steve, Steya. It's, it's so many things. I apologize, but hey, regardless, Larry, it's Thanks. an honor to have you, man. Uh, you know, you're Thank the talk you, of, you're the talk of uh, British boxing last week. You know, with your your uh, your, your victories, the win prize fighter. You know, it was earlier today. It was announced that you're going to be returning to the ring in February, and uh, we're looking forward to that. You're going up against a, a tough former British uh, champion in uh, David Barnes. But uh, first and foremost, man, how you doing today, man? You're, I know you're, you went back to your home country in uh, Lagos, Nigeria. What's going on with you? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm, I'm all right, thanks. But it's a bit too hot down there. You know, it's funny, in Las Vegas, it's actually really cold. And then you said it's, it's too hot in, in Nigeria right now, huh? Yeah, it's very hot. And you go up, you go back up to London, it's, uh, you get that cold weather, that cold, miserable weather at this time yeah, of year. Yeah, that's right. It's very cold. It's, it's very cold when I left. So which, so I, when I, got here, it's... I apologize. What's so your plans, I'm... Larry? You're, you, know, you're, you, you know, you're back in Nigeria right now. Are you just going to, you know, take some time off, get together with some family and friends, celebrate? It's a bit... uh, yeah, I'm now, I'm, I'm, I didn't come to Nigeria for celebration. Um, as you know, my mom, my mom and my brother passed about a few years back, but I couldn't make it back home due to the immigration problem, so, and I promised myself as soon as um, I was going to come, I was going to come here before, I was going to come to Nigeria before the fight, and, um, because I've already booked my ticket. My manager, Spencer Sierra, now called me, like, about six weeks to go, and said, listen, man, I want you to fight in a prize fighter, like, middleweight, and I said to him, wow. I'm going back home, and you know that already. He said, well, I know you're going back home, but your mom and... I said, no, I'm not taking part in the prize battle. If I come back, you can put me in a prize battle any day, any time. And he said to me, I know you wanted to go back to see your mom and your brother Grace so bad. And um, he said, one thing that makes me change my mind, he said, if you fight in a prize battle, your mom and your brother will be so proud of you. So I just said, all right, let's do it. You know what, man? My condolences on your loss. You know, my blessings and, and my prayers are with you, my man. I apologize for your losses. But, you know, hey, look at it like this. I believe your mother and uh, your brother's spirit were with you on that evening uh, in that prize fighter yeah. tournament, and, and you weren't denied. Thanks and, you very know, much. And you weren't denied. And, you know, Thanks. I'm glad you were able to get back home to, you know, to honor and visit their graves. And, you know, That's what, right. what, what, what uh, you know, besides getting together with family, uh, when are you going to resume training and focusing on your upcoming fight in February for Coldwell Boxing? I'm back in training. I'm back in training uh, um, very soon, you know, but um, in a couple of weeks back, a um, couple of weeks time, I'll be back, or should I say a few days' time, I'll be back on tra- in training, so. Well, I, I, my, my, my co-host with me tonight, uh, Tim Cudges, uh, I know you spoke to him before. He's definitely real excited about you. Tim, you still with us? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, Larry, ha- glad to have you on. Hi. Glad to finally get a chance to talk to you. Um, basically, I'm what I want to talk about... Hey, the reception over it. The, re- the reception here is very bad. I'm really sorry. What did you say? Can say that again, please? Uh, no, I, was, I said I'm glad to finally get a chance to talk to you, but what I wanted to talk to you mainly about was this prize fighter tournament that you were successful in. Basically, what, okay, sir. I, like from the gist of it, you came in there a heavy underdog. You're going against a guy who was over here in America making a name for himself fighting on HBO, ESPN, and Craig McEwen. It, what many boxing experts just kind of saw it as you being fed to the Lions. Basically, but you came in there and you did what you had to do over the course of those three rounds and picked up the victory. What was the feeling like 
I, it had to be an accomplishment in its own right, just beating McEwen in the first round. Wow, that's um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very good feeling, you see. Um, when um, after the draw, when I had him first, I was quite pleased with him. You know, he's a technical fighter. Oh, he's very good, and um, I know at one point I'll get him because obviously he's a big, he's a big midweight. I know it's a big midweight, and um, for him to make 10 stone fair in plus, I knew, I knew he haven't got nothing left, nothing much left. So that's why as soon as I get in the ring, I just, um, and it, obviously when we get in the ring, he, he, he I, the tempo, kind of, I mean, he can, he can really fast, so I can, I can deal with it. I can deal with any time every week, so... I'm not taking anything away from him, obviously, and everybody said if I could go either way. So I'm, I'm great. I'm, I'm glad that I got the decision. But I know, I thought I won, but I'm glad to get the decision. He could go either way, so it doesn't matter what people say. I'm still happy that I got the victory. Well, yeah, and it was quite impressive. You were able to get that big of a win in the first round, then go on to win two more fights. You entered the tournament two and L. That, and a name that many worldwide weren't familiar with. But now that you you went into that tournament, you beat McEwen, you won three fights, moving to five and zero, and now you have a worldwide recognizable name. What does that mean it's, to you? It's amazing, isn't it? It means a lot. It means a lot because um, you know, I always say one thing: I believe there's God, and um, everybody has their own time in life. I've been around the gym for a very long time, and I have a few friends that will start the amateur career with together, and um, they were doing really well. But due to some personal issue with me, I couldn't, I couldn't um, showcase what I'm capable of. And um, but finally, all the all the personal issue tend to fade off, and um, I started training well. I knew if I trained well, I would do well. So that's what happened. I put the work into it, and um, I came up. Victorious, so it means a lot. It means a lot. I'm up to now. I'm still buzzing, to be honest. And now you got a fight coming up on February 1st against slicker than your average David Barnes on a Colwell Promotions card. Uh, David Colwell mentioned yeah. on Twitter today this is a fight you've been looking for since you made your pro debut. How excited are you to be facing David Barnes on this card on February 1st? I haven't seen him. I don't know what he's like, to be honest. I might, because I, I just, I just turned pro, to be honest. I haven't, I don't know much about these pros. I don't know most of them. I don't know their names. I might have seen him box, but at the moment, I'm not really focusing on that because obviously, at the moment, I came here to see my mom's grave and my brother's grave after almost 11 years. So Spencer told me yes. Now he inboxed me today saying you're boxing um every every um burner. So I know it's gonna be a tough fight, but um I'll, I'm back in training soon. So and um I'll see how it goes. Larry, I gotta uh, well, answer this. Uh, real, real quick, Larry, I gotta answer this. Uh, are you signed? Are you promoted? Is your promoter? I know your manager Spencer Fearon, but are you being promoted now by David Caldwell? No. Okay, just, Not so just going, just going in for this one fight. And you know, I wanted to ask you. Actually, uh, Mark Abrams is uh, rejoining us right now. But I wanted to ask you this. You know, I've I've gone on to watch uh, your interviews uh, since your pro debut. You know, you've been making some noise. A lot of people have high expectations for you. I know you have high expectations for yourself. Being 30 years old, I know you're in a rush. You know, you're, you're five professional fights. You're five in it right now. Um, how soon, you know, because of the rush you, you're in, you don't want to waste any time. You want to fight the best as soon as possible, jump in there. How soon do you see yourself, uh, you know, fighting at the world championship level, maybe coming over here to the United States and fight one of the top guys over here? Um, I would say being a tag years old, it's just a number, to be honest. I've lived a good life, and I've been living a good life my whole life, to be honest. And um, been a thirty years old, make me stronger, make me make me smarter in the boxing boxing game. And um, I don't know how long it's going to take me to like 
get to the championship level, but I will just leave that to my manager, Spencer Ferran. And um, I've got a strong, I've got a strong team behind me, so I'm not scared. We don't, we're not scared anytime. Whoever we jump in there, I haven't got much time to waste. So whatever happens, I'm still proud of myself. So either way, Larry, I'm like this. You're 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 a sensational talent. Um, I know Mark Abrams wanted to hop on real quick and just say hello to you, Mark. Hey, hey Larry, how you doing? Congratulations. Um, Thank you very much, Mark. You, you talked about your team and, and your manager by Spencer Fiorano. Uh, um, I uh, I just heard. Yes, sir. Uh, talk about him. He's he's actually a friend of mine. He's one of the great personalities in British boxing and. Sure, a lot of people in America don't know uh, much. Uh, you know, they don't. You know, some may not know Spear, uh, Spencer. Uh, to talk about me, he's one of the great personalities, and, and, he, and he probably wears the nicest suits in boxing. That's right. You're right. Um, Spencer, Spencer is like a brother to me. He's a, he's a friend. He's a good friend. He's a brother, and he's um, he's a manager. So he's got he's got all the packages. I can call him right now. I'm in Nigeria and I'm short of money, so I just phoned him and I said, "Listen, Uncle, I need you to put some money in my account. This doesn't this doesn't come from the money that I won a few weeks ago. This money is coming out of his pocket. It's hardly for you to get anyone to say, listen, put this money in my account because I need it.' I just phoned him up today and I said, "Listen, I've got I'm short of money here because it's crazy. They haven't seen it for a very long time, and I've, I've got a lot of things to do. The money that I won last time is going to my kids' account." Because I don't want them to go through what I've been through, so what I, you know, I just phoned him and um, yeah, he didn't even ask twice. He just he just transferred the money to my account, so I'm very grateful, and I want to say a big thanks to Spencer Fiorin. Uh, also, also one last question: Talk about the, the price of fighter concept. Uh, you know, I know in the amateurs, you you know, guys are used to fighting multiple fights in a day, but as pros, obviously that really doesn't happen much. So to talk about that, that and. You know the the different kind of mindset you need in order to be successful in doing something like that. I'm sorry, sorry, Mark. Um, I'm struggling to get apart. What did you say again? About the the, the prize fighter concept. Um, yeah. Uh, about fighting multiple fights in, in one day. Normally, you know, the pros that doesn't happen. Talk about the different mindset you need uh, to be able to to do that. You know, the funny thing is, I've only boxed twice, multiple times, twice my whole life. Back in Nigeria, and um, we only box once a day. We never box twice. But I've only boxed twice in my whole life, and that was 2005 and 2006 at the amateurs. But um, I just think, to me, I think that, that the main important thing is training and um, stay focused. Never doubt, never doubt your ability, and um, you you will break through. Don't doubt your ability because you don't know how strong you are until you get to to a, a stage whereby you gotta be strong. So that's it. Thanks, Larry. I gotta uh, real, real quick. We just found you on Twitter at Larry Natural. We also know you're on Facebook as well. But this is your official Twitter. We just want to verify it here on the air. Okay, sir. At your Twitter account, at Larry Natural, that is your Twitter account, correct? Yes, sir. That's it. Uh, all the bo- all the boxing fans here, make sure you follow them. Uh, you know, Larry, we appreciate your time here. We know, you know, we know the reception we you get down there is is, is bad, uh, but we appreciate you taking your time out and and, and joining us and talking some boxing with us. Thank you we, very much. And now we, I've got sorry, sir. Sorry for cutting you. And now I've got. I've got a website called LarryDenatural.com, so if people can do some join the fan base, that would be great. We'll do, and we're, we're going to plug that out there, Larry. Um, we'd love to get yes, you back sir. on once you you know you head back over to the UK and you start training. We want to love to talk to you again to see where you're at in preparation for uh, the first of February at your call in London uh, against David Barnes. So we'd love to talk to you again before that fight, if that's okay. All right, so sure, anytime, anytime. All right, Larry the Natural, Ekundayo. I said it right, Ekundayo, right? I got it right this Ekundayo, time. Ekundayo, perfect. There and that is. means cheers become joy. There it is. Hey, Larry, God bless you, brother. You're going to be a world champion. Thank you very much. God bless we you, too. We look forward to seeing you fight again. You have a great evening. 
You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.